Hey guys, welcome back to episode 4 of our Make an RPG series, or of my Make an RPG series. Uh, today we're going to continue going over uh, basic item creation, and uh, we're going to continue with setting up our item structure. So if you remember from last time, let me open up these scripts in Mono Develop. Remember last time we created a base item script? This script is the base of all items in the game, and uh, we assigned it an item. We assigned values of an item name, a description of I, an ID and then a type and the type is either equipment so like chest piece helm something like that weapon scroll potion chest and then we further we went further and said okay well some items have stats on them and we call those a base stat item and we included the four stats that we created or that we came up with earlier and then we worked on creating our base weapon now a weapon can either be a sword staff dagger bow shield or polearm and if you remember, they inherit from the base weapon inherits from our base stat item, so the weapon automatically gets all this, all of the stats, and then it automatically because it inherits, because base stat item inherits base item, it gets all this. So today we're going to create our uh, base equipment script. So we're going to go back into Unity and we're going to hit C new C sharp script and we're going to call it base uh, equipment. And in our base equipment script, we're going to do a lot very similar things like we've been doing with weapons and stuff. Um, we're going to get rid of mono behavior. And we're going to uh, put base stat item in there. We're going to erase uh, those. And we're going to set up a public enum. We're going to do another enum. Much like weapon types, it's going to be equipment types. and this is where you can list all the types of equipment you want so let's say we want a helm or let's say head I'm just going to call it head like a head like a headpiece uh, chest shoulders uh, let's see what we have chest shoulders legs feet maybe you want necklace call it neck ears uh, yeah you can do earrings We'll leave it at that. You can add as anything you want. Anything you can imagine. Maybe uh, rings. We'll do ring. And you, you have. This is we're just setting this up for our item creation. But basically, this sets up all the types. You can have as many as you want. Uh, I'm gonna do that for now. So then we're gonna come down here. We're gonna set a private. Uh, it's gonna be of equipment type, and it's gonna be equipment type. And we're going to set our public getters and setters. Uh, public equipment types. Sometimes it doesn't show. Let me just copy and paste that. Telesense doesn't work all the time. Yeah, see, I misspelled it anyway, so it's okay. Equipment type. And like I said, this is going to be our getter. So we're going to get and we're going to return equipment types. I'm going to just copy, paste it. Don't forget the semicolon. Do our set. We're going to do equipment is equal to value. And we're going to just control S to save. Now what else? Now let's think. We can go back to our weapon. And what did we include? We included uh, we did spell it we gave it a spell effect so you can also do this on your equipment you can add specific things just for your equipment so let's let's add a we're gonna do a spell effect ID on this one ju just because so we'll call it um, an integer and it's gonna be spell effect ID again we want to I'm gonna copy this but we're gonna create a separate public uh, getter and setter and it's going to be spell effect ID. We're going to copy that, paste. There we go. We set up our <clears throat> excuse me, set up our equipment. So we so right now this inherits from base stat item, which inherits from base item. So when we create a, an equipment piece, uh, say we create a new chess piece, we can give the chess piece a name, a description. Uh, we can give it. Um, we can say it's type. We can say we can give it a spell effect ID. We can set all of its four stat values. 
<clears throat> and we can give it an item ID. So now we're going to go back to Unity and we're going to create uh, another. We're going to go down our line. So we have equipment, weapon. We got to do scroll, potion, and chest. So I'm going to do create a new C sharp script and we're going to call it base potion. We're going to open that up in Mono Develop and we're going to get rid of that. We're going to do base stat item. We're going to get rid of this because this, this is all from Mono Behavior. And we're going to do another public enum, and it's going to be potion types. Oh. And we're going to do a health. Uh, we'll call it energy. Um, let's see, strength. And then we'll do an intellect. We're gonna do all of our stats. And then we'll do what is endurance. So this these are the potion types, and you can come up with anything you want. You can even do a like speed. And uh basically this just lets you know what kind of potion it is when you create it. Uh so we're doing another private, we're gonna do potion types. Control S to save potion types potion type and uh, we're gonna set our public getters and setters control s to save so we'll do public potion types and once we have this all set up it's gonna allow us to really take advantage of the structure and create items very quickly and that that's that's the fun part you know, I set up my typing today. And then um, copy that value. Okay, so there we go. And I guess what we can do, <clears throat> it's going to have all the stats, but we, what we can do is add, again, just another private spell effect. Maybe in the next uh, couple videos after item creation, I can work on spell effects for you guys and show you how. Basically a similar system on how to create the structure for spell effects and what I do. So here's a spell effect ID. We're gonna cop I'm actually just gonna back to base equipment. And what ha if all of our items end up having spell effects, what we'll do is um or what what we'll do is just go back to our base stat item or base item and just say every item can have a spell you know a stat effect. And we're gonna copy that, paste here. Done. Perfect. Okay, so we set up our potion, we set up our equipment, we set up our weapon, um, and the, we have uh, one more item left, and it's or scroll. We have two more items: a chest and a scroll. I'm going to do the scroll real quick, and then I'll end the video here. Uh, the chest we're gonna leave for a later date, but basically I'm gonna do the uh, scroll now. It's gonna be the same concept. I don't really know what scrolls are going to do, so I might just say it's going to inherit from base item. And uh, I'll just give it a spell effect. So we'll just do, yeah. So we'll, what I'll do is um, private int spell effect ID. Uh, I think it's, nope. Hold on a second. Going to go back to base potion. Going to copy and paste spell effect ID. Boom. And it looks like most of our items right now have spell effects, which is okay. So we'll just probably include that, like I said, in base item. Anyways, so today we created our three scripts for potion, scroll, uh, and equipment. We have one for weapon. And so basically we have all of our items set up. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a creation script for each item. So we'll go, uh, or for each type. So what we'll do is we'll start with equipment and I'll create a script that uh, when you hit create, uh, hit a button create or something, or when you open a chest, it randomly creates an item with a name, stats, everything that you could imagine on it. And uh, that'd be a lot of fun. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Please leave a comment, uh, like, or hit the subscribe button if you want. And I uh, look forward to you guys watching my next videos.